this is, let's see, this is fourth grade, module four, lesson nine. And in this lesson, we're going to be decomposing angles using pattern blocks. And, and uh, it, you know, to explain what this means, it's easier just to show you rather than explain it. So let's get going. So what we have here is a bunch of pattern blocks. And if I take this hexagon, and if I wanted to know what is the measure of this angle right here, this obtuse angle. Of course, they're all the same angle. And um, if I wanted to measure that angle, well, I could just grab a protractor and do so. But um, the point of this lesson is to show you a new way or a different way to do it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a few of these hexagons, and I'm going to line them up and arrange them. And look at that. Boom. Perfect. So what we can see is I'm going to group these together if I can. Let's see if it'll let me. Oh, it did. Yay. All right. So I've grouped them. And so what, what you can see is these three angles form a perfect rotation. And so what that means is 360 divided by 3 gives us 120 degrees. And so that means each of these obtuse angles represents 120 degrees. And we figured that answer out using logic rather than actually using a protractor. Now let's see if we can do that again with a different um, angle. Oh, well, let's take this triangle. All right, so we've got a triangle, and we don't know what the measure of each of these little angles are, but they're all the same, all three of them are the same, and we know that they're acute. That's all we know so far. So let's put some of these triangles together, and let's see if I can do it fairly quickly. And I'm going to keep going, keep going, rotate there. Now, actually, this is a, enough to give us the answer. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. One, two, three, and I'm going to zoom in here. All right, now what we can see is we can see that these three angles form a perfect straight line. Boom, 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 boom. And so we can see that these three angles form a perfect line, which is 180 degrees. So 180 degrees divided by 3 gives us 60 degrees. So now we know that each, each angle, each of these acute angles, is 60 degrees, but just to prove it, what we can do is we can continue uh, lining our triangles up. And let's put this one right here. Let's put this one right here. Looking good. And then this one, we'll put it right here. And look at that. We can see that all six angles form a perfect rotation. So 360 divided by 6 gives us 60. So that means each of these acute angles is 60 degrees. All right, so let's see. Can we do that again? Can we? Whoa! Can we do that with another shape? Oh, sure. Let's do that on the next slide. So on this slide, let's see, let's do, let's take a look at the trapezoid. So we got the trapezoid here, and the trapezoid, let's do the, well, we know that the green is 180 degrees. I mean, uh, the green, those little acute angles, is 60 degrees. So if we put three of these, um, green triangles inside the trapezoid. Let's see if we could do that here. One, two, and then rotate this guy and put it in here. You can see that it takes two 60 degree angles to make one of these obtuse angles. So that means this obtuse angle is also 120 degrees. But we can show that in a different way. We could take another trapezoid. Oh, well, let's put it over here. Um, put it right here. 
And then we could take another trapezoid and put it right here. And now we can see it takes three red trapezoids to make a full rotation. So 360 divided by 3 gives us 120 degrees. So each of those obtuse angles in a trapezoid is 120 degrees. Let's zoom out. Now let's see if we can figure out what these skinny ones are. These are the weird ones, all right? So let's see if we can figure that out. I'm going to take some of these trapezoids. Now, let's see if I can move some of this stuff around. Let's see. Will this go away? Yeah, this will go away. Let's go that. Put that all the way over here. Let's go. Go, 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 go away. So now I'm going to take some of these, and I'm going to see if we can make a beautiful flower going around. Whew. It took a lot of work, but I finally got all of these pieces to make a complete rotation and yeah there's some gaps that's because my drawing isn't totally perfect but you can see that it took one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so it took twelve uh, pieces of these beige pieces to make a complete rotation so that means 360 divided by 12 gives us 30 degrees. So that means each of these tiny little measurements down there is 30 degrees. Now the tricky thing is, uh, what would the obtuse angles be? And I'm going to say for another video uh, the explanation that each of these obtuse angles represents 150 degrees. So here we're being asked to create a 180 degree arc using our pattern block figures and then write an equation for it. So there's a variety of different answers for this. Um, that's one of my the favorite things about math is that there's oftentimes more than one way to get the answer. Uh, but let's say we're going to take a trapezoid, um, a rhombus, and a triangle. Okay, so I'm going to get one of these triangles right here. And if I put those together, I can see that I've got three angles that form an 180 degree. It's a half circle. It's an arc of 180 degrees. So what is our equation that we would write? We would write 30 plus 30 plus 30 uh, because mm -hmm. that... Oops, not 30 plus 30 plus 30. Oh, my goodness. 60 plus 60 plus 60 uh, because that makes, um, that's exactly what each of these angles are, these acute angles are 60 degree angles and you put three of them together you get 180 degrees which is a flat straight line. Now that did not have to be our only solution. Uh, we could have taken, let's see, a hexagon and then I could have taken a couple of these um, little beige pieces, and I never, never know what to call these beige pieces. Um, I don't know, so I'm going to zoom in though, and I'm going to take this guy, and I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to put him right here, and then I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to get another one of these guys, and then I'm going to zoom in, and rotate him, and there we go. I now have another uh, answer for 180 degrees, and in this case, I would probably write it as 120 degrees. That's the hexagon. That's the obtuse angle from the hexagon, plus 30 degrees plus 30 degrees. And, and that's exactly what we would get right here, 120 plus 30 plus 30. All right, now we're also being asked to create an answer uh, where um, we get 100, uh, I'm sorry, 90 degrees. All right, so let's do that. So I conveniently created a 90 degree angle, I estimated really, and now let's put one in. Now, of course, we could just grab a, a square 
and put it in, and there we go. But the directions are saying that we're supposed to use more than one figure. So we can't just take a square and put it there. All right, so let's see. What can we do? Well, let's. we could take a, a trapezoid, and I can put it right here, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I can put that trapezoid right here. And that's 60. Now I know I need 90 total, so I think what I'm going to have to do is take one of these beige pieces and zoom in and boom, there we go. So I, my answer can be 30 degrees plus 60 degrees. And there's a whole host of answers that possibly could work. I mean, that's I'm not showing the only possible right answer. But that's uh, one of them. All right, in the last slide for this video, uh, we have Micah. He built the following shape using pattern blocks. And write an addition sentence for each of the angles indicated by an arc. And then solve it. And the first one is done for us. And so what they're showing us is they're showing us that Y is right here. And we can see from our previous experience that this is 120 degrees and this is 90 degrees. So that means y is equal to 120 plus 90, and that's 210 degrees. All right, so that's, that's that one. Now we're supposed to do z. All right, so z is way up here. And we can see that this portion of the angle, of the whole arc, is uh, the acute angle of a triangle. And so that's 60 degrees. And then we can see this little piece of the beige is from previous experience. That's 30 degrees. So what would we write for Z? For Z, we would write 30 degrees plus 60 degrees, and that is equal to 90 degrees. Just kind of like simple math, really, right? And then let's last one is x. Now x is way over here, and I'm going to zoom in so that we can see it pretty closely. And x, we can see, is 120 degrees for this portion, 60 degrees for this portion, and 30 degrees for this. Oh, kind of a cool pattern. 30, 60, 120, so it's doubling each time. 30 doubles to 60, doubles to 120. That's kind of cool. Nice little pattern there. Um, so anyway, let's write that into our answer space that x is equal to 30 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 120 degrees. And when you add those together, you get 210 degrees. And that wraps up Grade 4, Module 4, Lesson 9, using pattern blocks to learn a little bit more about angles.